Okay, so I'm gonna show you today a couple of my favorite standing inner thigh stretches. The first one is what I call the valley girl stretch. So you go like you're gonna do a lunge, but you bring your back foot a little bit wider. You get your core, so that's important that you get that little bit of a tuck because you don't wanna be arching through your lower back. Uh, and then you're just gonna let your hips sort of go slightly out to the side so you feel a nice upper inner thigh um, stretch. You wanna make sure that your shoulders aren't going over. So your shoulders stay fairly still and it's just quite small. It's just through the pelvis. So my left leg is forward, so I'm just going slightly over to the left. If you're mirror imaging me, you'd have your right leg forward and you're just doing that little pelvic rock, keeping your ribs, shoulders, everything fairly still. Okay, so you could do that and then you'd wanna get different angles um, and fibers of the inner thigh. So then you could move your leg up wider and then you would start to go into more of like an inner thigh side lunge stretch. So make sure when you're here that your butt is over top of your foot and you're sitting backwards. So you're not going forward into the knee and you sit back and you get that inner thigh stretch again. And then you can go over one more time and sit over like that. So sort of forward to so 12 o'clock and then this would be your kind of one or two o'clock and then sort of you know, two, three, and then three o'clock. Okay, so then we get into the thing I really like, which is the standing foam roller for your inner thigh. I love getting down on the ground and using this on the inner thighs, but sometimes you're like, you know, why don't I get all the way down there? It's so far away! I get it, especially if you're in more like work clothes or whatever, totally fine. You would take the roller, you put it between your thighs, your feet are fairly close, so you feel the pressure on the roller, you get that little pelvic tuck, and then you just alternate bending your knees. You get a nice little massage, you bring the roller up, down, as with any type of foam rolling, you want to just find the place that your body needs the most massage and stay there. And if you're like, oh, I don't need it there, I can move it up. If you're like, oh, I don't need it there, move it down. Just sort of play around, have a little bit of fun, and make sure you are breathing.